Happy Wednesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. I don't know about you, but music just makes me want to dance. Come on, dance with me this morning. I know you can. I can't wait. Teachers, snap a few pictures for me so we can get started with this day. Today is Wednesday. It's going to be a wonderful day. Let's get started with our morning announcement. Sydney Field Elementary students and staff, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, for, with liberty and justice for all. Bobcats are powerful. I think positive. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a bobcat. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill, I just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year, we have just because treat days. So you must always follow our three school wide rules, which are to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, I hear that some of you showed your brilliance on yesterday as you began your Mastery Connect assessments. I can't wait to begin to announce our brilliant Bobcats, our rising stars, and our double-digit scholars. But as promised, I am about to announce your 20-day attendance reward because for the entire school year thus far, we have maintained over 90% attendance. So, I bet you're wondering, what type of reward will I get? Will we get? Well, let's find out. Are you ready to find out what your reward is? It has to be something big. This is the third time in a row. We only have one more 20-day period, and we will have been over 90% for the entire first semester. So, because I know that we're going to make it, I believe in you, you are going to come to school every day that you possibly can to help us get there as a school and because of that you have been gifted 13 theme days that's 13 days that you can be out of uniform during the month of december on the back of the calendars that you receive today there are 13 theme days 13 theme days leading up to 
the end of this semester. We hope that you will join us, the teachers, the staff. We want to have a little fun. We have never had 13 theme days in a row. The most theme days we've ever had is the number five. So I'm counting on you to be on your very best behavior, to be calm, because we will all be out of uniform. Enjoy. And don't forget to come to school every day. In other school-wide events and activities, scholars, we are in our very last week of participation in the Memphis Hustle Reading Cubs Club. You have until the end of the week to get all of your basketball shaded in or at least as many as you possibly can to be on track to receiving your participation certificate. You should have at least 460 minutes if you're in pre-K, K and 1, and 690 minutes if you're in grades 2, 3, 4, or 5. Scholars in 15 school days, we will take our very first field trip, school-wide field trip for this school year. You only have five school days left to pay your $10 and bring your permission slip. Make sure that you remind your parents it will be on the calendars that you take home this afternoon. Don't forget, I can't wait for us all to load the buses to go and see the Wizard of Oz. In our last activity to announce, we will be having a earthquake drill this week. Teachers, please review the procedures for the earthquake drill with your scholars. Remind them that this is the drill that we stay inside of the classroom. We drop to the floor. We cover our full bodies with a table or our desk and we hold on so that we can make sure that we protect our beautiful, brilliant brains. Today's classroom spotlight goes to Miss McBee and her grade one scholars. Scholars, you are being spotlighted for being ready to learn as Miss McBee was working at her small group table. You were concentrating on your work and we just love that you were doing your workstations. We can't wait to see more classes engaged in small group rotations as we walk around and see what you're learning today. We don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon.
All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication facts, but today you must be ready. Today, we will be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So make sure you are paying close attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. Eight times five. Forty, raise your hand if you have learned your five multiplication facts. We'll be reviewing them for another couple of days. 51 minus 4. 47. Don't forget to help me check my work by using the counting back strategy. So let's put that big number in our head that is 51 and let's count back four places. Ready? Let's go. 50, 49, 48, 47. Yes! Give me a round of applause because I got that one correct. Now, make sure that we, we need to make sure that we check our work on each and every problem because that is how we will get our hard facts correct. 12 minus 8, 14. Now it's 12 minus 8, 14. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is correct. Let's use the count, the counting back strategy to help me check my work. I feel like something is not right because. I remember that when you subtract, you take some numbers away. When you take something away, that means that it gets smaller. And right now, my answer is larger than the, than the 12 that is in my problem. So I feel like I did something wrong. Maybe I was rushing. Uh, but I'm going to use the counting back strategy to check my work. Okay, so help me do this. All right, let's put that big number in our head. That is 12. And we need to count back eight places. Ready? Let's go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That answer is for, what did I forget to do? I see it, I see it. You cannot subtract 8 from 2. And so I needed to borrow 10. But I forgot to cross that one out and make it a 0. And that is how I got 14. But I appreciate how. You always help me check my work. Because we now know. Because we checked our work. The answer is 4. Today's national holidays. Our first national holiday for today is Electronic Greetings Day. Today, scholars, we are encouraged to send an electronic message. That means to send a message via text, via social media, you know, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever you use to send a message of happiness, telling someone thank you. Uh, for something that they have done for you. So I encourage you scholars to send an electronic message to someone, especially any relative that you have that lives in a different place from you. 
Our second national holiday for today is, today is National Throw Out Your Leftovers Day. We had that wonderful holiday on last Thursday. We are encouraged today to throw away those leftover leftovers and replace them with something healthy, some fruit, some vegetables, so that we can get our diets back on track. I don't know about you scholars, but I ate entirely too much turkey dressing and sweet potato pie. So I am going to throw away my leftovers so that I can get myself back on track. Today, we are going to finish the fifth book in our Magic Treehouse series, Night of the Ninjas. Remember, we want to find out or make a prediction as to how Jack and Annie will get back home. Did they find the book yet? You know that book that has a picture of where they're supposed to go back to? Or will they be trapped with the ninjas forever? We are starting today at 24 minutes and 35 seconds and going to the end of the book. In addition to our read aloud, we have our move and add video for our pre-K and K scholars, our counting on video for our scholars in grades one and two. We have our mental math edition for scholars in grade three, and we have our multiplication math story for our scholars in grades four and five. Scholars, I heard that you had a fantastic day on yesterday. I had a meeting, but I'll be back in the building on this day, I think I might owe some scholars something sweet. I'll see you soon. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.